Hi friends! Today is going to be the TBR takedown for the month of November. Welcome to Advent, friends, where I will be posting 25 videos in the month of December. I will link the playlist in the description box down below if you want to catch up with anything that you may have missed. It's pretty early in the month right now, so probably not a lot to have missed, but it is there for you. If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game that I've been playing trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a really high number, which I think was like 260 or 280, I don't know, 24, I don't know, it was a high number. It was north of 200 when we started this game a couple years ago, down to a more manageable number, probably around 50. What's gonna happen when we get to 50? Hell if I know. So we'll be talking about the books that I hauled this month, which will be my haul portion and then we'll talk about the books that I read this month and we'll see where our numbers go. In the month of November we're starting with 117 books and let's see where we end up. I only hauled one book this month which is fantastic for me but also Alcrate's late so it would have been two but that's on Alcrate. The book that I hauled this month is The Secret Next Door by Rebecca Taylor. This was a book from the Adult Unplugged Book Box which I got this month. I have no idea what this book's about, but it's like an adult thriller, which you know I've been getting into. Um, if you've been here, if you haven't been here, then you don't know that. Uh, let's see. It's the perfect neighborhood filled with not so perfect people. Allison is giving her son the childhood she never had, a stable family, a loving home, a great school, and a safe neighborhood. When they move into the home of her dreams and one of Denver's most sought after developments, Allison works hard to fit in and impress the other mothers. Bonnie is the neighborhood matriarch with her oldest son headed to Yale and her youngest starting kindergarten. Ugh why. Bonnie is now pursuing her own long-held political aspirations, but it's her middle child Elijah and their private family struggles that cast a shadow over her plans. When the open space behind some of the most expensive homes gets slated for development into a golf amusement facility, the neighborhood becomes deeply divided. The personal pressures and community conflicts ratchet with every passing day, but it's when a 13-year-old boy is found dead beside the lake that simmering tensions boil over into panic. Gossip flows, lies are exposed, and accusations are made as cracks run through the community's once solid foundations. The neighborhood's fake and exterior appearances is eclipsed by the secrets every house keeps. Rebecca Taylor, author of Her Perfect Life, returns with this fast-paced engrossing novel that reminds us that nothing is ever as perfect as it seems. Questions I ask. Is the 13-year-old who died the middle child of Madame Bonnie? Or is it the child of Allison? Like, does her son, is he the only one that, like, does she lose her only child? What if, what if, uh, what if it's one of them and the other one's the one who killed them? I don't know. We're gonna have to read it and find out, I guess. Uh, so anyway, uh, The Secret Next Door, Rebecca Taylor, again, didn't know what it was about, but I guess we do now. That's it. That's all I hold this month. Ta-da! And now we shall go into the wrap-up portion. Uh, if you want to see the actual wrap-up for these, um, where I actually talk about what I read and my thoughts and feelings and all that, I'll link that in the description box down below for you. Um, right now I'm just going to tell you the books that I read and then you'll see whether they counted or not via the numbers on the screen. First, this month I read Harrow Lake by Cat Ellis, which does not count because that was a borrow from the library. I then read Witch Volume 9, Part 3, A Crisis on Both Worlds, Volume 3, and The Family Plot by Megan Collins, which again was a library book, so it doesn't count. And that was it. <laughs> That's it. No one hauls, no DNFs. We went up one, when we came back down one. We're even. We're still at 117, y'all. Like it. Like we're still here. We're still at 117. We didn't go anywhere. Can I read 17 books off of my physical TBR in the month of December? If you watched the first video this month, you know the answer to that question is absolutely fucking not because I'm reading a shit ton of arcs this month. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. I did want to be under 100 by the end of the year, but it's it's fine. I read a whole bunch this year. Um, I've met my reading goal already. Like, it's fine is what it is. Uh, I have been prioritizing arcs this year because I've been getting a lot more arcs from publishers. I got a physical arc. A physical arc this year. Like this month. It's right over there. But we're not counting it because it's not technically on my physical TBR because technically it's it's an arc. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. Uh, if I had to start counting those, they, they would not be pretty. So, because um, I have like 23 arcs out right now. 
If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please hit me up in the comments section down below. That's all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including the rest of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!